This is Into Math, third grade, lesson 13.1. Describe equal parts of a whole. I can identify, draw, and name equal parts of a whole that is divided in different ways. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 354. You can always pause anytime as needed and we will start under Build Understanding, question one. Seth compares the flags of different countries. We have four flags inside the box, Colombia, France, Indonesia, and the Czech Republic. We will look at part A. Which flags show a whole divided into equal parts? Let's take a look at the connective vocabulary. A whole is all the parts that make up one shape or group. If all the parts of a whole are the same size, the whole is divided into equal parts. Each of these flags has different colors to represent the different parts. So we can look at each flag and notice the colors to see if they are representing equal parts. Um, so we'll look at the first one, Columbia, and we notice that the red and the blue look equal together, but the yellow is a very large piece, so those are not equally divided. Then we look at France, and we have the blue, white, and red. When I look at this flag, I feel that these are all equal, but I could check by looking at the squares below each color. One, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three and all three, um, the same uh, length, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can say that this flag, France, would be a whole divided into equal parts. Now let's take a look at Indonesia. It also looks like both pieces are equal. Let's look at this side to confirm. One, two, three, and the red, one, two, three. Now let's look at their length. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that would be the same at the bottom. And they are both the same length, so we can say that Indonesia is also a whole divided into equal parts. Let's take a look at the last one, the Czech Republic. We notice right away that the blue, the white, and the red do not look all of the same. The white and the red look the same, the blue triangle is not the same shape as the um, white and the red. I'm going to show you if I cut the piece of blue and I turned it just to show that it does not match, it is not equal, there would only be a little bit of um, the blue left. Let's say that I drew a line here and then I took that little piece so you see how it wouldn't fill. So these are not the same um, equal parts. So we can answer part A that the flags that show a whole divided into equal parts are France and Indonesia. Now we can answer part B which flags show a whole divided into unequal parts and we can answer Colombia and the Czech Republic. Let's take a look at part C. Into how many equal or unequal parts is the flag of Indonesia divided? So we will look at Indonesia and we see that there are two parts and we have identified them as equal. There is one red and one white part. So we can answer that there are two equal parts. Let's look at part D. Draw one flag with equal parts and one flag with unequal parts on the grid. Explain how you know that your flags have equal or unequal parts. If you would like to pause and try this part on your own and come back, you may do so, or feel free to follow along with me. My first step will be to outline both flags. I am making each of my flags um, six boxes in width and eight in length. So if you wanna pause and draw your boxes now, you can do so and come back. And then we will start with the equal um, parts, one flag with equal parts. And I will start by counting one, two, three, four boxes 
because I know that half of eight is four and I will fill in from four boxes over. Once I have filled in my flag, I will confirm that they were they are both equal because both of the sizes of the, sh of the parts are four by six, four squares by six. So these are equal parts. For my unequal flag, I will just go ahead and color in one row blue. So one, one um, cube by eight blue. So now I have two parts, one blue and one white, and they are not equal because one is one square by eight, and the other, the white part here, is five by eight. So this part here is much larger than the blue part. So they are unequal parts. I can explain my thinking by stating my flag with equal parts has two sides that are the same, six by four. And my flag with unequal parts has two sides that are not the same, one by eight, and five by eight. Let's look at the next page, page 355, part two. The 137th Street School holds a contest for a new flag design. The school wants all flags to be divided into equal parts. The name of the equal parts of a whole depends on the total number of equal parts. Match the flag with the name of the total number of equal parts the whole flag shows. And they give us a little hint here that says, how do the names of the equal parts relate to the number of equal parts in each flag? So what we're gonna do is you can pause and try this on your own if you'd like, or just follow along with me, but we are going to look at each flag and we're going to find the name that matches the flag that has equal parts. So we will start at the bottom flag here. We have one, two parts. So we are looking for the word that shows two equal parts, and that word is halves. So you can draw a line to halves, which means two equal parts. Now let's look at the flag above one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six equal parts, and we will call that six, which means there are six equal parts. Let's look at the next flag. One, two, three, four. There are four equal parts, so we will call that fourths for four equal parts. The next one has one, two, three, three equal parts, and we call that thirds for three equal parts. And our final one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight equal parts, and we call that eights because there are eight equal parts. As always, you can go back and rewatch this video and pause along the way at any time as needed.